So yeah, the Samsung Galaxy S23 series is finally here. And just like before, there are three smartphones in the series, the Galaxy S23, the S23 Plus, and the best of them all, the Galaxy S23 Ultra. If you have seen the leaks before, you might have noticed that uh, not much has been changed when it comes to the aesthetics, when it comes to its looks. Actually, there are some changes that was done in here and uh, it was uh, something really big once you hold it. But before that, let me introduce myself. I'm Jam of JamOnline.ph and uh, welcome back to my channel. And today, we're gonna take a closer look at Samsung's newest smartphone series, the Samsung Galaxy S23 series. All right, all right, all right. So let's focus on uh, what are the new things about the smartphone. So this year, they've focused on its uh, focus on recycling. They focus on sustainability for its design. Yes, they focus on sustainability. That's why they have a recycled glass back, an eco-friendly dyed metal collar, a recycled pet film, and a recycled paper packet. Basically, from the box to the smartphone, there's a lot of uh, sustainability uh, things that was done in here. Mas recyclable yung mga meron tayo dito with the Galaxy S23. So, not only that you're buying a smartphone, but you're also saving the environment, kind of, when you're buying this smartphone. So unlike the Galaxy S22 and the S21 uh, series that uh, we have reviewed before, uh, those smartphones does have a uh, slightly less premium na feel for the base model and the plus model, but this time, it is really premium uh, from the base model up to the ultra model of the Galaxy S23 series. It might not be big for consumers, especially here in the Philippines, but it does have a lot of impact for the environment. So thumbs up for Samsung on that one. They've also introduced One UI 5.1 on this one. And yes, the look of the One UI 5.1 is pretty much similar to the previous One UI that we have before on other Samsung smartphones. Is it a bad thing? No, not really because it is smooth, it is user-friendly, and I didn't have any problems when I was using it for a short while. But One UI 5.1 added uh, some features that you might enjoy, especially if you're in the Gen Z, because with One UI 5.1 on the Galaxy S23 series, you can now add a video wallpaper for your smartphone but I believe it will take some battery for that one but yeah it's nice to have a video wallpaper on the smartphone it will also have a uh, feature in where you can create GIFs from your images and videos you can also create stickers from your photos and of course send it to your friends one of my favorite features is that you can actually crop or get yung photo nyo or yung object uh, just like what the uh, feature na meron tayo sa iPhone and yes available is with the Galaxy S23 so drag and drop uh, to your other messaging applications to send uh, those photos na hindi nyo na kailangan i-edit pa it's a really nice feature it's a really nifty feature that we got here with the Galaxy S23 Going back to the body of the smartphone, of course, we still got here the armor aluminum for its frame, which is why the smartphone is really solid. It's solid to hold and solid you feel niya. And I believe even if you drop the smartphone, in which I did during the NDA session with Samsung Philippines, and yes, it was pretty solid and tough. As for the glass that we got in here, Samsung has mentioned that it will come with Gorilla Glass 8, which is really tough according to them. But again, I dropped the smartphone during the session and uh, it didn't break. So yes, I believe it was tough. Speaking of materials, we got here a slight redesign just like what I've mentioned earlier. With the Galaxy S23 and the Galaxy S23 Plus, we've now lost the thicker camera module at the back that... Uh, that's like on the frame of the smartphone, just which is present on the Galaxy S21 and the S22 series. This time, it's just circles at the back, just like the Galaxy S23 Ultra and the S22 Ultra. It comes with a roundier sides when you look at it on the front, but once you hold it, it actually does have a flatter design on the sides, which is why I got a better grip and a better ergonomics on the smartphone than compared to other Galaxy smartphones that we've reviewed before. The feel of the Galaxy S23 series is excellent actually uh, as we got here flatter sides. It's better than I expected when I hold it and um, the feel of the smartphone is really solid because of it. It's not just ergonomics but it also feels more tougher compared to the previous generation. 
And yes, the Galaxy S23 and the S23 Plus does have a flat display. It's not that bad. It's actually pretty good for me that they got here a flat display. While the Galaxy S23 Ultra might look like the Galaxy S22 Ultra, but actually it does have a different feel as this one has a less curvier or roundier sides compared to the previous generation. So this one I say flatter sides. And for the display of the smartphone, I was actually surprised that uh, they've um, lessened the curvature on the sides of the smartphone, on the glass of the smartphone, which means that even if you use the S Pen on the Galaxy S23 Ultra up to the uh, edges of the smartphone, it really doesn't fall off or slide off to the display, which is Pretty good, especially if you love drawing, if you love taking notes, uh, if you're there's a lot of uh, information that you want to see on the edges of the smartphone. I actually like it, especially if you're the type of person who always use the S Pen for the Galaxy S22 Ultra. But yeah, of course, it comes with some caveats as the bezels on the side is more noticeable uh, compared to the previous generations of the Galaxy Note series or the Galaxy S series. It isn't bad though. I mean, functionality over the design and I still believe that the Galaxy S23 Ultra does look good on the front uh, despite some little changes on the smartphone. But again, we got here better ergonomics and um, a better display for me to write on with the S Pen. And yes, the S Pen is still below the smartphone, still accessible, still has the same feel and um, Still good for note taking. For the Galaxy S23 and the S23 Plus, it packs a 6.1 inch and 6.6 .6 inch displays respectively. Uh, both smartphones comes with a full HD plus resolution. It isn't that bad. I mean, it's dynamic 2X AMOLED display. It's still good. It's bright at 1,750 nits. Not the brightest one, I believe, but it is still pretty good and the colors are specially saturated and quite fine for viewing videos, TikToks, or whatever. I like how handy the 6.1 inch display of the Galaxy S23 but sometimes you just need a larger display because we need a larger display for our applications and games. So yeah, you might want to go for the Galaxy S23 Plus that comes with a 6.6 .6 inch display. Now, both of these smartphones now runs on Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor and as expected, better performance overall, whether that's CPU, GPU, or the NPU of the smartphone. But of course, uh, we'll get to know more about that once uh, we have the review unit of the smartphone. But Samsung has mentioned uh, that they've um, made the vapor chamber larger on this one compared to the previous generation. So you got a better cooling on the Galaxy S23 series. But again, um, it's not really uh, essential that we got here a vapor chamber. We also got here, we also need a chipset that should have a uh, better temperature control, better performance overall. So yeah, I can't wait for the review unit of this one. Now for the battery, Samsung has also uh, made the batteries of the Galaxy S23 and the S23 Plus larger. Well, slightly larger. So the Samsung Galaxy S23 now comes with a 3,900 mAh of battery while the Galaxy S23 Plus now comes with a 4,700 mAh of battery. Both smartphones got a 200 mAh of battery upgrade so uh, we could see a better battery performance compared to the previous generation. But of course, it will still depend on the display, the uh, processor of the smartphone, and overall performance whether we can get a better uh, battery life on the smartphone but hopefully we could get a better one as uh, a lot of people are asking for a longer battery life on their Galaxy S series smartphones. Now for the Galaxy S23 Ultra, same design? No not really. Same feel? Mm, not really. Just like what I've mentioned before, we got here a better ergonomics, a uh, better design but uh, looking at it from afar, it's quite similar to the previous generation. Again, flatter sides uh, make the smartphone uh, better to write on, better to hold even in one hand. I really appreciate that Samsung has done a good job when it comes to the ergonomics of the smartphone. And of course, the smartphone comes with a bigger display at 6.8 inch. And yes, we do got here a better resolution at 1440p, which is why writing on the smartphone, drawing on the smartphone uh, means that we got here a sharper images, sharper videos, or um, you know, sharper icons whenever you wanted to. And yes, uh, all of these smartphones comes with a 120 hertz refresh rate. Not much on a 
of an upgrade when it comes to refresh rate. But I believe 120 hertz is already enough. As 144 hertz isn't really essential. As um, you know, not a lot of games or applications really support more than 120 hertz uh, res uh, refresh rate. Actually, I believe there are only a few applications or games that takes advantage of the 120 hertz refresh rate of the smartphone. And since this one is made for productivity, of course, like what I mentioned earlier, you can highlight uh, the text, the images, the objects, and uh, copy it and paste it to another application if you wanted to. The Galaxy S23 and the S23 Plus is also capable of that. But with the S Pen, you got more accuracy, you got uh, better features and a better feel on this one. As for the battery, this one still comes with a 5,000 mAh of battery. And of course, it will still depend on the processor, which is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. I don't know yet how this one will perform in terms of battery, but hopefully uh, the latest Qualcomm processor would perform a lot better compared to the previous generation. Hopefully, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 can perform better. Hopefully, we could get better performance, better thermals, and a longer battery life. And for the highlighted part, the Samsung Galaxy S23 series does come with a better camera in all of the smartphones. With the Galaxy S23 and the S23 Plus comes with a 50 megapixel uh, main camera, while the Galaxy S23 Ultra comes with a 200 megapixel main camera. This means that the Ultra can uh, get a better and sharper shots compared to the S23 and the S23 Plus. So what can we expect? Of course, we got here improved OIS, we got in, uh, noise reduction on the smartphone. So overall, we can get uh, better results on the smartphone. They've also highlighted that these smartphones comes with a better night performance. So what can we expect from the smartphones? Well, they focus on nightography. We got here night selfie, night portrait, night video, and night selfie video. Basically, if you're the type of person who always uh, takes photos when you're in the club or when you're outside in the evening, well, you would appreciate the camera of the Galaxy S23 series. Unfortunately, we're only there for a uh, few hours or a few minutes and uh, we weren't able to try out the night selfie camera or the night rear camera of the smartphone. But they're promising that you can get a brighter and better video. So if you're, uh, you know, uploading TikTok videos, if you're if you're uploading reels or whatever videos that you want, you can get better results on the Galaxy S23 series. Actually, they focus on uh, the people or for the consumers that are focused on co creating content with video. So it's not just photo this time, but also the video. So Samsung has made a great improvement when it comes to the video of the smartphone. And based on the videos that I've tried, well, uh, I was actually surprised that we can get better skin tones, I can get uh, a sharper and uh, better videos on this smartphone than uh, compared to the previous generation. So yeah, if you're a vlogger, if you're a content creator, if you love TikTok, if you love Instagram Reels, if you love YouTube Shorts, if you love creating content basically uh, with video, you would definitely love the Galaxy S23 series smartphones. This time, we're recording using the front-facing camera of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra at 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. And actually, I do like the results of this one. Uh, it's very smooth. The colors are nice. And it's quite sharp. The video that you are watching right now is recorded using the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra at uh, 4K at 30 frames per second. Oh, 60 frames per second rather. You can record up to 8K at 30 frames per second now with the Galaxy S23 Ultra thanks to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 uh, chip inside. So overall, uh, the Galaxy S23 series is a uh, clean upgrade. So if you're a Galaxy S22 or the Galaxy S21 user, you might not need to upgrade to the Galaxy S23 series. But uh, if you really want that camera, if you want to a better camera for your TikToks, for your YouTube, for your shorts, or for whatever uh, you're planning on, well, the Galaxy S23 Ultra might be the smartphone for you. I suggest that you get the Ultra if you're into cameras as there's a big difference when it comes to the camera of the S23 and the S23 Plus versus the Ultra version. As of this recording, I do not yet have yet the pricing but um, I, I'm expecting that it will be expensive. It will be on the flagship level just like before. And yes, we're gonna wait for the review units. Actually, as of this recording, I haven't received yet the full specifications, the full details of the smartphone. So uh, we're kind of blind in here. So what uh, I'm sharing to you is what I've seen and what I've tried from the NDA session uh, at uh, Samsung HQ. So yeah, I guess that's it for our video for today. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel 
channel and be sure to click that subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified of our latest videos here in my YouTube channel. So once again, I am Jam of JamOnline.ph. Thank you for watching and see you guys again in my next video.